Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Nidhi, a corporate trainer, NLP coach and a sound therapist. Until recently, I used to be a proud Singapore girl. Well, yes, I used to fly with Singapore Airlines, one of the best airlines in the world. I flew with the airline for 10 years, five years as a non-ranking crew, got promoted to a leading stewardess, was there in that role for another five years. I also used to be a trainer with Singapore Airlines for almost about six years. And here I am today to share my experiences, my tips with all of you, because what better use can I have with all that experience but to share it with you guys. And if being a cabin crew is your dream, I can help you to make it into a reality. You're watching my series on how to become a cabin crew. So today's video is actually a request video from a lot of you who wanted me to do a makeup tutorial for the day of the interview. I'm gonna share with you a few tips before we get into the tutorial. First thing that I wanna share with you guys and the very important thing is that this is not a fashion show, this is not even a movie premiere, so please remember that the makeup that you will be doing should not just only be presentable from an interview point of view but also should be subtle because uh, the interviewers do want to look at who you are, your natural self. They do not want to look at somebody who's covered up with makeup and it's looking so artificial that they can't even like make out whether it's you, the real you. So you definitely want to keep it uh, toned down. We don't want to look like Rihanna or Madonna. We just want to look our natural self. Number two, uh, whatever products that you use, please, before you use them, remember to clean your face thoroughly and also apply your proper skincare routine. And Don't just walk into an interview with your skin flaking. You want to make sure that your skin still glows and it's not dampened uh, because of the fact that you've been through the whole day and the tiredness gets to show on your face. The right products, very, very important the right shade of foundation or uh, the eyeshadow that you're using use it in the right quantity because uh, you do not want to look too white or too dark you just want to look the natural self so get the right products fourth again a very important thing uh, remember guys you won't be able to carry your makeup kit throughout the day with you so all you want to do is to be able to carry powder or uh, your lipstick so you can touch up throughout the day five when it comes to doing your hair can uh, bun your hair a few different types uh, when you're using the gel or the hairspray remember to not use a lot of it because again remember it's gonna be a long day and uh, if you're gonna use a lot of hairspray and gel your hair is gonna start flaking it's gonna become really rigid and stiff and you don't want to do that you again want to look a natural extension of yourself and the last and the most important thing that I want to share with you guys again is uh, do get rid of all the unwanted hair on your face. Remember the interviewers do want to see somebody who's natural and not made up. All right guys, so that's about it. I'm gonna get straight into makeup tutorials. The most essential thing is the mirror. Uh, right here is my big mirror and uh, I also tend to use uh, a small mirror which is quite handy if you're doing your eyeshadow and stuff. Uh, for our foundation today, I'm gonna be using my personal favorite foundation from Estee Lauder. It's a double wear. Uh, right next to is is my illuminating primer uh, for my base. Uh, I'll be using uh, an eyeliner from Lacme, my mascara down there from Maybelline, and uh, again one of my personal favorites. Uh, my concealer is from Makeup Forever, uh, high definition. It's a very very good concealer, but you have to make sure you find the right shade according to your skin type. Uh, right there is my makeup uh, finisher, which is from Mac. And right next to it is my blusher. Uh, this is my set of makeup brushes from brow uh, brush to my lip brush, my contouring brush, and the set of eyeshadow brushes, my sponges, my foundation brushes, and of course my makeup kit. Uh, this again is my personal favorite. This is from Sephora. Uh, I absolutely fall in love with it when I saw it for the first time. Uh, this contains like 80 over shades of eyeshadows and uh, some creamy eyeshadows, brow powders, face powders, and of course like 20 over lip shades. But again, you don't really need something so extensive.
I'm gonna go with French twist. And this is my final makeup, guys. I chose to go with the light pinkish up shade. I'm gonna match it with a little bit of a combination of a pink and a red lipstick. But as you can see, I've kept the whole makeup very, very subtle, uh, presentable and toned down. Up, So I uh, come across as somebody who's very, very professional and that's what you want for that interview. So all the very best, guys. I really hope that this uh, tutorial was helpful to you and uh, please do like the video and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. So until next time, see you, take care, stay pretty. Love you guys.